Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Um, me and my daughter, we're on our way back to Las Vegas in a few hours. Um, it is early Sunday morning, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning here in Ohio. And in a few hours we'll be on the Vegas trip. So those of you who've never been to Las Vegas, um, hopefully this video will help you. And there's a billion videos on here on Las Vegas, okay? But I'm going to show y'all like the places that we like to go. Um, you can't do everything in one trip, of course. That's why we keep going back to go do different things. So there's a lot of uh, beautiful things on the, on, the, on the strip and also off the strip, too. So I will come at y'all later on. I'll probably either do a live or um, I'll just do like a video and post it up later on this evening or something like that. So I will get back with y'all later on. So um, I'm planning to leave for like another four hours. So we got time, okay? So I will get back with y'all later on. Deuces. God bless. See y'all later. Uh, she got 18. I got 18. 18. What? Oh, sorry. I got my tablet with me. Come on, tram, so we can get to our departure. I <laughs> my hair. my hair. Departure gate. <laughs> Here we go. All right. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so the airport is still pretty much empty. It's not too crowded. This is the first time we came here. We got in this day on quick. Cause usually we're standing in line for what about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. We sit in line forever trying to get in. Mm -hmm. The bag, everything was smooth. This is CVG. This is the um the um Greater Cincinnati and Kentucky Airport. So yeah, <laughs> it's the first time we had a smooth check in. Very smooth.
Welcome to Las Vegas. Well, the local time is 8.28 a.m. Please stay seated with your seatbelt fastened and carry on items stowed until the captain has turned off the seatbelt side. Bins to avoid injury from items that may have shifted during flight. And please ensure that you have all of your personal belongings before declining. As you're Remember to head over to the Bellagio. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, look. So packed here at the Bellagio. Oh my God. And I usually stay here, but um, <laughs> look at this crowd here. Jesus. A lot of folks checking in and checking out. I always do the mobile check in and check out. That's what I do. I'm not standing in line. You know? Uh uh. But let's go to my favorite spot, which is the conservatory. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, that thing is huge. It's so pretty. Oh my god. This is my favorite spot. It is so pretty in here. That one was, and this time right here was not here last year. Yeah, I'm not sure that way. Yep. It's not pretty. Ain't it? Beautiful. Look at these, y'all. Look at that. These big hot air balloons. Look at that. See how pretty that is? That one? Look at that one. Wow. My favorite spot. I have to come here and look at all this because they change it up every season. It's so absolutely beautiful. And it smells so amazing in here. I mean, the smell is just, oh, it's heavenly. Oh, it smells so good in here. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
like I said, I stayed here twice. My last two visits here to Las Vegas. Uh, this year, I said, let me go ahead and give the, the hotel a chance. And if I don't like the hotel I'm staying in, I'm coming back to the Bellagio anyway. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> How y'all doing? We just checked into the Flamingo Hotel. This is their bathroom. I guess this is their remodeled bathroom. Right here? Yeah. What I'm trying to understand is this wall right here. Right, this wall is weird. Um, you see the, the door, you come in, and then here's that wall. I don't get that. Here's the, here's a mirror, right? The door right here, here's a mirror. It's a big, thick, this a mirror just like flat on the wall right here. Here's your closet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the, the, the dresser, your TV, the chair, the table, this lamp, and the drapes. Check it out up there. Broken. Look at this. Hanging. I ain't putting this shit back up there. Yeah. So this is our view. And this chair here with this. Let me see. The lights up here. That's the headboard. That's the headboard. These lights up here. So, me and my daughter, we have a bed. My daughter, she'll be laying down, so I ain't gonna show y'all. She's chill, she chilling. But, I'm telling y'all right now, let me go hear this shit, too. Already, bad experience with the Flamingo. I, I said before, I just wanted to give another hotel a chance. Because when I come here, I'm usually always like, to, you know, I have to stay at the Bellagio. Excuse my French. But fuck this. <laughs> I, when I come back to Las Vegas, hopefully sometime next year, I'm going right back to the Bellagio. I am never coming back to Flamingo ever again. And the, the lady at the front counter, this was a sister at the front counter with that with that horrible red lipstick on the way she was talking like like you stupid they are not up front with their prices good thing i had the extra money they was not up front with their prices when i go to the bellagio which is more of course a high-end hotel they are i mean for me they was up in front and everything so i knew exactly what to bring how much money to put down how much money to do this and do that with the flamingo was not clear with their prices here okay so thank god i had a little extra um another like card on me to use i didn't want to use that card but something told me before i left ohio something said denise put that card in your wallet just in case and i did so flamingo if you hear this i ain't staying here no motherfucking mo because this is we only been here for we've been here what for about seven eight hours already and y'all already gave me a bad idea we just checked in when I, I went to the kiosk to check in, and um, I gave my information. I said, here's my email address, here's my phone number. Me and my daughter waited around. We went to go eat, and, you know, we you know played around, did everything. No text, no email, nothing. Check-in time here is at 4 o'clock. They said they were going to text me or email me at about 3.30. So I'm like, bet. That's when we went to breakfast. We went to Caesar's Palace and piled around, did all that stuff right there. Then um, we sat in the like uh, at the casino downstairs at Flamingo, waiting, thinking, okay, well, they're gonna text me, so we can go and get this room. So we was like, damn, I want some water and some, you know, some some snack foods, whatever. So we went down to CVS down the streets. Me and my daughter walked down there. And then we came back, and we was like, we wait, we waiting again. My daughter was like, Mama, you got that text? I was like, no, I ain't get no email. I ain't get shit. So I said, forget it. Let's go ahead and just walk on up here. Walked up there. The line was, was long as hell. So we like, damn. So then I tried to go use my, my um, put my information back in that kiosk. <clears throat> and my, and my, the, the card I was using, it just kept acting up. It kept like, I said, hey, my card, my card declined. I got money on my card. What's going on? So I had to go see the front counter lady. That was the, the sister with the red, dry ass, crackling ass, 
oat brand muffin lip ass lipstick on pissing me the fuck off then she was just like um no you, you have to pay this kind of fee that kind of fee that kind of that shit was not in y'all shit it was not listed so thank god i had an extra card okay i was like this is ridiculous i mean for real it's ridiculous so flamingo i ain't staying here no motherfucking more the same shit i had at um the rio two years ago i ain't staying here no more either I'm, I'm t see, that's why I always said, I always told my daughter, and I tell people all the time, I always stick to what I know. When I try to give somebody else a chance, I'm always getting screwed. So you know what? The next time I come to Las Vegas, back to the Bellagio, I go. I am never staying here at the motherfucking Flamingo ever again, okay? Like I said, the room is not bad, bad, but it's not, it's not Bellagio. It's not something that I would, you know, do again is what I'm saying, you know, but that pissed me off, that, mm -mm -mm, that girl pissed me off with that dry crackling ass lipstick on, that pissed me off, yeah, so I'm trying to give her some cash, we don't take cash, what the fuck you mean, I was like, okay, this is crazy, so I was like, I did, I said, I tried my best not to use that other card that I had, but I had to, but I thank God that I brought it. So, this is just our first day here. We've only been here for about eight hours. Um, eight, well, longer than that, maybe. But, um, you know, I'm just going to enjoy myself while I'm here. We got a show to go to. We got some um, dinner reservations. And we're going to go swimming still and that kind of stuff. But, yeah, you know. Everything else is kind of, like, smooth. And then she was like, have a great stay. I said, yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I will see. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> But okay, I'm going to finish drinking my tea. I'm going to wait for these people to bring um, me and my daughter's bags up here so I can plug in his phone because his phone is going low. Because my um my plug and everything is inside my uh, my bag. Our airplane flight was smooth. Everything was nice. Yeah, but yeah. Woo! Flamingo, I ain't coming back. This is, this is the first and last time y'all going to ever get my money. Mm-hmm. I'm exing y'all out like the plague. Okay, I'm avoiding y'all like the damn, like COVID. Show sure is. All right. Talk to y'all later. God bless. Lay low. Deuces. Get back with y'all in the next video.